Hey everybody and welcome back to Eric's Creative. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a tool review. We're going to be reviewing this dowel maker that I bought from Home Depot. So one of the things that we use a lot of are dowels of course. Um, here's a dowel that I, I made. It's something that is really beneficial and yes you can and more than likely will at some time in your life buy dowels that are you know pre-made dowels in a stick form such as these here and they're pretty cheap they're um, good to have around you can get them in all different sizes uh, you can buy dowels from online companies in a bunch of different materials but typically they're only made in the more standard materials that are used for woodworking. Um, I think maple, walnut, oak, pine, um, and maybe a couple others are, are the standards that you'll find online. Maybe um, cherry, something like that. But sometimes you run into a situation where the most common that you find at like hobby shops, um, woodworking shops, Home Depot, or the box stores, that kind of stuff, are, are these that are the um, pre-made pine dowels or something like that. And they don't always match what you're working on. And even if you buy online maple, oak, cherry, walnut, whatever, they aren't always the same color tone as you want and they aren't always the same color grain on the top of the head, especially when you get into dowels that are three-eighths and bigger you really start to see the grain a little bit more and you want them to match as best as you can so um, that's where a dowel making tool or jig comes into play so how do you do that and and what's the deal with it right that's always the questions or what are the good what are the good ones well that's always a, a question that's kind of hard to to answer to some degree and the reason for that is um, it depends on what you prefer and how much money you want to spend to some degree and that kind of stuff. Now, online you've probably seen videos of, um, I think Izzy Swanson, Matthias and them have made the, their dowel makers from pieces of wood that they've cut, drilled a hole in, tapered it, cut it, and then put a chisel on it and, and made that work. And then... I don't remember who else, um, but I've seen a couple where they take a piece of angle iron or flat bar and then they drill a hole in it and then they drill two small holes that intersect that bigger hole, whatever the size of your dowel is, and then you um, run a square piece or an octangular piece really through that and it turns it down to a dowel. That's not, the, neither one of those are bad options. They're actually pretty good. But for me, if I'm just doing um, finishing dowels or um, short dowels, the, the effort of cutting down stock to the size I need it to be and then running it through the table saw or running it through a sander to round it over so that I can run it through one of my jigs is more work than I want to do a lot of times. So when that happens, I found these dowels, these dowel makers. They are different sizes. It comes in a set of three, actually, three eighths, half, and then a five eighths or three quarter or something like that. I don't remember. I've got the other one over in the box somewhere. And these are cut so that it's got a beveled hole on the edge of it here. And then it's got an opening to let the out, you know the the chips come out and cut it's got a little bevel there so it's actually cutting on that edge as you can see there and then it has this space which measures around um, I guess it measures around an inch or so inch and a quarter and that's where the dowels come out at um, as you can see, there is a dowel in there, so that does work. And then, of course, this one is kind of the same thing. You've, it's just a different size. The one thing I don't like about these dowel makers are that these particular ones do not have on them 
the size of the dowel that it is making. Here are, here's the biggest one there, there's the medium one, and then there's the smallest one there. So yeah, um, I think I paid $9.99 for them at Home Depot. I will have to put in the description the name of these, the brand. I don't remember which brand it was. I bought them a while back. I took them out of the package. Um, I will say that in the beginning, I tried to cut dowels out of oak and it didn't really work that well. It just kind of burnt the, the wood. Um, I've got to go back and try it again because all the other woods I have tried it on have worked just fine. As you saw, I am cutting it out right now of this mesquite wood that I have that's part of the bookcase that I'm building. But I also made some out of some maple. They're just little, you know, dowels out of maple. And I also um, made some out of pine and it, and it works just fine for all of those. Haven't tried cherry yet. I have some cherry, I might try that. And I haven't tried the oak again, which I do need to try. I haven't tried walnut with it, which eventually I will. That kind of stuff. Um, but I take that back. I did try some walnut. It was very thin. It was quarter inch thick stock. So the, the dowel was only a quarter inch tall. Um, but I was cutting it with the 3 8 dowel. And those all worked out fine. So I don't really know why the oak gave me such an issue. Um, maple's pretty hard and it, it worked fine. I've got to try the oak one more time, but here's how it works. So you just put the wood down, you put the drill with the dowel maker down, you start slowly. And then you just push through and there it is. And it comes out pretty clean. I mean, Honestly, that's a that's a pretty decent dowel for a few seconds of work, and I mean, it's it's exactly what you need, and they fit tight as well. So as you can see, they actually work pretty well, um, at least to make the dowels, right? So how well do they fit? Well, I'll show you. So here's the bookcase that I'm working on currently. As you can see it right there, here's the back piece that I've got going on. Um, let's see if we can get the lighting good. And then right here. I mean, that's a pretty tight fit right there. I have to hammer it in, but it will go. So, see? So if you use the right size drill bit, of course, and then you use the right size dowel maker, they actually do work really well. I mean, that is a that is a tight fit. So, sorry, it got out of focus there. So yeah, I mean, they work pretty well. I, I'm pretty satisfied with these. Now, one thing for sure is I have not used these dowel makers enough to get them dull to where they don't cut. So I don't know if they're resharpened, you know, if they're capable of being resharpened. I don't know how long they will last. Um, I've cut probably 15 dowels with them, maybe 20. So it's still up to debate as to, to how long the edge will last on this tooling and how long that they'll be able to make dowels without needing to be resharpened or if you can't resharpen them how long you'll need or you'll be able to use it before you have to replace it at 10 bucks they're not hugely expensive um i've seen them on amazon as well i put a link to amazon ones that are equivalent to what I've bought. I just have to remember what the name brand is and then I'll, I'll show those to you. If you don't want to do that, um, the Amazon stuff is an affiliate link, so that helps me out if you buy through that. But if you don't want to do that, you want to go and get them um, from a local big box store. I know that I bought these at Home Depot originally. Um, so that is something that you can do as well. And I'm sure that the other stores like maybe Lowe's or um, possibly even Ace Hardware will have them. 
I haven't checked out if any of the woodworking stores online like Rockler and them have them, but they might. So if I find those, I'll put those in a link as well. I will definitely um, describe the links that are affiliate links versus the ones that are not. And I will let you guys make your decision based on that. So I got to get back to work getting this thing all dialed up. I got to get it all glued together um, for the dowels. And then later I can throw some urethane on it. Um, not urethane, I'm doing Danish oil. And with that, I will show you guys um, the final result as well as how I put it together. Even though I don't have process videos of it, sorry. I'll explain. It's pretty simple and I think you guys will like it. So... Thank you for stopping by. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up in this video. Also, please don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Um, in the description, you'll find a link to my other videos, which are off-road, um, 4x4 oriented, as well as mountain biking and outdoors oriented. And um, I do reviews of products on those as well when I can, and trail reviews and stuff like that have more product reviews for you guys coming here. I do have some projects I'm going to build that you guys will be involved with. And um, hopefully in the near future, I will be able to get more content up a little bit quicker and a little bit more uh, consistently is the word. So please hang in there. Don't forget to check out my stuff. I appreciate it all. Thank you again, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.